Hello and welcome back to Zuluwa Consultants. In this video, I want to look at this question under the topic simple machine. The question reads, if the efficiency of the pulley is 75% and the effort applied is 1000 newtons, find A, the velocity ratio, B, the mechanical advantage, C, is the weight of the load, and last but not the least, the mass of the load. The first question is asking us to find the velocity ratio. Now, for a pulley system, the velocity ratio is found by simply counting the number of lines that are connected to the moving pulley. So, in this case, we have one two, three, four, five, six lines that are connected to this moving pulley. So because we have six lines that are connected to this moving pulley, we will say the velocity ratio is six. So this is how we find the velocity ratio. The second question is asking us to find the mechanical advantage. Now for us to find the mechanical advantage, we need to take advantage of the efficiency that we have been given. So we have this formula that tells us that efficiency is equal to mechanical advantage divided by velocity ratio multiplied by 100%. So we have already managed to find the velocity ratio that is 6, and the question has given us the efficiency, which is 75%. So let's plug in the values that we have in our formula. So the efficiency is 75% is equal to the mechanical advantage, that's what we want. Then the velocity ratio, we have the velocity ratio is 6 multiplied by 100%. At this point, we can decide to multiply this formula with 1 over 100. So if we multiply all of this with 1 over 100, we'll have 75 over 100 is equal to mechanical advantage divided by 6 multiplied by 100 over 100. These two will simplify. And when we divide 75 divided by 100, we'll get 0 0.75 is equal to MA divided by 6. So MA is equal to 6 multiplied by 0 0.75. So MA is equal to when we say 6 multiplied by 0 0.75, we are getting 4.5. So this becomes the mechanical advantage that this pulley system has. The third question is asking us to find the weight of the load that is lifted by this pulley system. To manage to find the weight, we need to remember the formula for mechanical advantage. That says mechanical advantage is equal to load divided by effort. The question has given us the effort is 1,000 Newton. Then we managed to calculate the mechanical advantage of 4.5. So we can make load the subject of the formula by saying load is equal to mechanical advantage multiplied by effort. So we have the effort, we have the mechanical advantage. We can find the load. So load will be equal to the mechanical advantage is 4.5, then the effort is 1000 newtons. Now you can see that the mechanical advantage has no unit while the effort has the unit. This simply means the load 
will have a unit also of newtons because we are calculating the weight of this load. So load will be equal to 4.5 multiplied by 1000, it gives us 4500 newtons. So this becomes the load that is being lifted by this pulley system. So we can say the load is 4,500 newtons. The fourth question is asking us to find the mass of the load. Now the third question helped us to calculate the weight. So there is a very good relationship between mass and weight. This relationship is weight is equal to mass multiplied by gravitational force. So we have that as 10 newtons per kg. The weight is basically the load that we calculated. So we can make M the subnormal formula by dividing both sides with G. These two will simplify and will remain M is equal to W divided by G. So M is equal to W is 4,500 newtons divided by 10 newtons per kg. So this can simplify with this and will remain M is equal to 450 kg. Remember, mass is measured in kilograms. So this becomes the mass that this load has. We have used the relationship between mass and weight to manage to calculate this mass. So hopefully this video has been very helpful for you to know how you can come up with a velocity ratio, the mechanical advantage, the weight, and last but not the least, the mass. You can also notice that these four questions are interlinked. If you fail to do the first question correctly, it affects all the other questions. So thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our Facebook page for this and more videos. Bye-bye.